Greetings from Zion National Park. My name is Grace, and this is my first season working here in Zion National Park. I've always been drawn to history. And when we look in Zion National Park's past, we can find that artists have played a role in the creation of this national park. See, you have different artists, photographers, and painters of all kinds who have explored Zion and made a lasting impact. Zion National Park was established in 1919, and it has artists to thank for it. In 1871, John Wesley Powell started an expedition, and he had a young 17-year-old gentleman named Frederick Dellenbaugh with him. This was Dellenbaugh's first journey to the West, and he was the assistant topographer and photographer for the expedition. While traversing this terrain, he was taking photos and writing down descriptions of the canyons that he was exploring, including Zion Canyon. This canyon made a lasting impact on Dellenbaugh, so much so that he came back in 1903 and spent the summer taking pictures and painting the canyon yet again. These paintings and photography eventually made its way into a nationally recognized magazine called Scribner's Magazine. This magazine published these photos as well as descriptions of the canyon. Here is an excerpt from that photography expedition. One hardly knows just how to think of it. Never before has such a naked mountain of rock entered into our minds. Without a shred of disguise, its transcendent form rises preeminent. There is almost nothing to compare to it. Niagara has the beauty of energy, the Grand Canyon of immensity, the Yellowstone of singularity, the Yosemite of altitude, the ocean of power, but this great temple of eternity. These words and photos got their way into the hearts and minds of those in the East, and the descriptions used by Dellenbaugh definitely provided better indication on what this canyon looked like, given that the photos were in black and white. Dellenbaugh described the canyon with different colors, saying that the walls were red and pink and white. By providing this, people in the East began to realize that this place was worth preserving. And in 1909, under the Taft administration, Weep National Monument was established. Later in 1919, under the Wilson administration, Zion National Park would be designated. Throughout Zion's history, whenever you look up Zion National Park on the internet, you'll find photos and descriptions and videos, and it can be pretty overwhelming. But through these images and words, we have had millions of visitors visiting Zion National Park to this day. And all of that to thank the artists. Now we do have modern artists who still continue to work in Zion National Park to this day. And we'll learn more about that from Ranger Renee a little bit later on. But thank you all and have a lovely day.